what up guys how you guys doing it's uncle muscles uh i might as well just show you guys how i did this recently um i'm running nvidia nis with clone displays now this is a feature that is not something that's supported by nvidia so what you have to do is something very very specific and i'll show you what i did um let's just say for example and there's other videos that show this uh santiago santiago is kind of the one that showed how to do this or showed me how to do this but i think indirectly basically because this is for this is a specific situation uh i'm running let's say for example you have a streaming computer right and you're trying to split your display because you have two outputs on your graphics card uh one for um your streaming computer and one for your gpu you don't actually have to use or one for your uh, monitor. You don't actually have to use the pass-through on a uh, capture card. That would actually uh, lower the response times because you're transferring the data all the way to your capture card and the capture card has to go back and hit your display. So why would you do that? Um, you shouldn't. What you should do is just clone your display. Now, if you're trying to do that and use NIS because you're running on a GT1030 because you're a loser like me, uh, you have to do some things to make it work. And I'll show you what I did. So, uh, you, what you want to do first is go into your setup multiple displays. Oh, actually, first what you need to do, just so you know, is turn off image scaling on any display you have. Turn it off, because if you have it on, it won't work. You have to turn it off, and then for the new set of displays you're creating, basically the clone display acts as its own one singular display. That you can activate image scaling on. But as long as you turn everything off, so turn this off for everything else first, image scaling in the manage 3d settings turn that off first then 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 go to your setup multiple displays window okay i'll show you what this looks like um if i change this sorry i have hair in my mouth no, it's not coming out okay sorry if i change this um and uh it's it's gonna make it so my uh video stops showing so i can't really show you exactly how but I can show you the process. Um, I've cloned this, my first display, which is my AOC AG251, blah, 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 240 hertz monitor. 240 hertz, babies. Uh, not three, whatever, not 360, but 240. Um, I've, ex I've cloned that with my macro silicon. Uh, capture card which records natively at 720 oh joy by the way guys don't forget to follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash twitch.tv slash uncle muscles and i'm also doing a doing some fundraisers for getting a new capture card so i don't have to do this jank ass bs anyway so the macro silicon uh capture card that is cloned with my aoc now the other thing is that you want to make sure the clone source is one or whatever your monitor is. Like, if you have a 240 hertz monitor and you have, like, three... This should work potentially with, like, four displays or, like, eight, depending on how many GPUs you have. Uh, clone source, make sure that's one. If, if that's set incorrectly, it's going to kind of mess the whole process up. But And sometimes you don't notice this, too, because when you hit clone with two, it'll make the clone source two or... I don't know. I think I've just misclicked it a bunch of times, not understanding what the difference was. Clone with two. So you clone one with two and make sure the clone source is one. You have to, double, you have to right click it twice, basically. If you're cloning a display, which I am, once the display has been cloned and you've set the clone source in your display options, you can then go into your resolution. Now, I only have a certain set of scaling Actually, no, you'd have to, sorry, excuse me, what I think you need to do then, because the scaling resolution probably will not show, I think then what you need to do is go into manage 3D settings, and then, once you've cloned the display and set the clone source, then turn on image scaling, then turn it on. I use 100%, I don't use the overlay indicator, because that's a nonsense. Nonsense, is how you say it. Then turn it on, then, then, then change your resolution. I've changed my resolution on my main display to 720. Now, this is what Santiago Santiago has recommended for people who are running a borderless window. So, say, for example, you're playing Halo, Waypoint, or whatever the new Halo was. You would have to do it this way because you have to run it in borderless window. So, that's what I'm doing. And then, like, 
basically what Santiago Santiago said in the past. Just run the game in borderless window. So it doesn't look amazing, or it, it runs a little bit differently. I, I don't really know what the exact specific differences between uh, running the game in uh, borderless and non-borderless or full screen. Um, the only thing I've noticed is the difference is the priority class. So when you go in the task manager and you go uh, run this application as a high priority, I just did this recently in my uh, how to increase uh, FPS in the Gundam Evolution game. I just go into the registry editor, um, and I actually change um, the, uh, I guess I'll put a link to this below. It's, it's the same process, but I just actually change the, 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 the class, the, the CPI pri CPU priority class of the game to high. So even though it's running it in, in borderless window, it seems to give it the juice it needs to run at the right speeds. So if you're trying to run a game with a clone display with NVIDIA NIS. Now, I'm assuming this is a similar process for AMD SFR or uh, Intel, whatever they're, it's called. I guess now they have the 3X33 or whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. 3DSS or whatever. There's some new process from Intel that's uh, like the competitor to NIS and FSR. Um, and it's got four letters, not three. Uh also, looking forward to those new 777s or whatever they're called, 770s. The new the new GPUs coming out. That looks cool. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. They look nice, aesthetically pleasing. Whether or not they're the, the specs, I think are still nobody knows. But all the reviewers, I think, have reviewed them already. So it looks like they're pretty decent. But they just aren't able to talk about the specs because everybody's like, oh, these are kind of nice. They're gonna be a contender. But like nobody says what they can do. <laughs> like there's no. I don't even know what kind of memory they're using. Anyway, uh, that's a tangent. But that's it. If you guys are trying to run clone displays with NIS, you can do it with full screen, and then I would go into the registry editor and just increase the priority class, unless you want to just go into your task manager every time. You can do that, too. Um, that's the way I do it. Maybe If there's a better way, please let me know. Please. I, mean, I actually just tweeted NVIDIA, not that they'd ever respond to me, but I was like, hey, guys, how do you do this? Forgetting that I actually did a video on this basically without realizing that was the outcome. Because I, I, I was playing Halo with, with NIS. I just couldn't remember how I did it. But Halo also is restricted to borderless window. I was trying to run uh, the new Gundam game in a borderless, uh, in just normal full screen. And you can, it, it's seemingly the case. Sorry, this should be the conclusion of, of the video in the beginning. You cannot run NIS in full screen mode with a clone, dis clone display. You have to run it in borderless window mode. So that's, that's what you need to do. And because of that, I showed you the process. Anyhow... Sorry, the information was a little bit backwards there. That's how these videos usually tend to go. So once again, if you guys like the content, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. I am actively raising money for a new capture card and I'm trying to get some, probably a new GPU at some point so I can not, not play freaking Gundam Evolution on GT1030. I definitely appreciate all the support. If you guys uh, want, definitely check me out there. It really does help my content when I have more people chatting with me in the chat. Baby boys. Okay, bye, everybody. I'm done now. Bye.